All right, right. Uh, welcome to a flight video. I haven't done one in a while. Um, I actually had some. I actually have a. I think a couple like stored or in. You know, basically they they haven't either been uploaded or published. Um, just haven't gotten around to it. I've been trying to do something with it. Um, before I kind of go into what this video is going to be about, you know, I just want to say that you know I'm doing these videos just for fun. Um, you know, one I really like this game, but B I think it's also kind of fun to kind of record. Just to see, you know, in case you see something really cool during a flight. But I've also been using it as a means to uh, work on just some basic video editing skills. You know, maybe like, you know, like doing some cuts, putting music in. And also maybe just some, um, let's say public speaking. You know, I don't really consider myself a bad speaker. But one thing I do kind of notice is sometimes in my videos, you know, I lose my train of thought. Or go, um... Very hard to do because I am doing this on the spot. This isn't scripted by anything, but I'm thinking trying to use these videos as a way to always improve that, especially because just anything in life, you know, you're going to have times you need to speak on the spot. So, um, yeah, so you just did it right now. Anyway, um, not the main reason I'm doing it, but that's why I decided I always keep doing these randomly, and plus I just enjoy it. That said, this one is going to be not a sightseeing tour too much. It's going to be about the big update, which has been out about th two, three weeks now. Um, I, I'm seeing good stuff and a few negative stuff, and I'll go in that in a little bit. Um, so, like, some of the negative stuff is more during the flight I'm seeing right now. Uh, the good news, um, it does seem like performance is better. I haven't missed too much with graphics yet. I didn't want to do that. Because it's just, you know, it's like notorious. You start messing with that, then you're going to have basically CTD crash to the desktop happen often. But we'll start with the big, one of the big updates they did was the world map. Um, obviously, you still got the main satellite views and stuff, but it definitely looks more in detail, I believe. But the big, big, big difference, and we'll go in and I'll show you my current round in a minute. You can zoom way in, and look at that. You actually got details now. Now, obviously, if you go too far, in, it's going to be a little more blurry, but this is still pretty good detail, I think. You know, this is kind of like now on par with, I guess, I would say Google uh, satellite, but they're using the Bean technology here, which is fine, but similar technology. Um, and I really like this for a couple reasons, because one, if you're looking for a certain, let's say a specific site that may not be on this map, like, like I'm in Madrid now, there's really no markings here. So, you know, let's say, this this doesn't really look like a big stadium, but, you know, let's say you're looking for this, you know, maybe you've been there and you just want to see it from the air, see every capture, it's there. Or you're trying to find the center, like this park here, you know, this definitely looks like a site area. Now you can actually go down there and see it. It used to be... It was like just a bunch of gray. You, you know, now obviously when they had a site mark, like I'm gonna go up to France real quick with this big update. Then it was a little easier to find stuff. It's like okay, at least mark it here. I can mark. You know, I can put a a, um, a destination on here. Like I can help find it. You know, but now you can like zoom in, even get a sense. Like okay, this is the Luxembourg Palace. What does that kind of look like from here? It's like okay, it looks kind of interesting. Or uh, let's see here. You know, obviously the Eiffel Tower. Uh, and grand, this is satellite, so you always got to remember it. it's always going to have some awkward. Like, if you look at any satellite, you're obviously looking straight down, so you may think this looks a little awkward here, but you know, that's how it's going to look on Google Maps or anything. Um, one other thing they seem to change, it used to be just this, like Paris, like a dot. It looks like now they put the city logo on here to distinguish it from a, um, let's say, a site of interest, which I think is a nice change. Um, again, I love the satellite view. Like, and plus, it gives you a better sense of the scope of a region. Like, look how big this is. You know, and this is Paris. It's the I want to say it's the second largest city in Europe behind London. Uh, you know, I remember Charles de Gaulle's a little ways out there, and you kind of get a sense of that scope. You know, between the uh, let's say Central Paris and uh, Charles de Gaulle. Now, seeing how much there is in between. It's in the past just gray, so you may think, well, maybe it's more countryside, and you realize it's not. Or vice versa, and there's more countryside, then you just go right into the city. There's some airports that are just like that. So this is probably one of the biggest changes they did, and I love it. It's very it's very useful, very helpful to figure stuff out now, especially when you start these routes. And today's route, what I'm going to do, kind of keep it a little short and sweet, but um, right now, as I'm recording this, is stage four of the law. I think it's called Violetta, is the third... Third and final, it's one of the grand tours of cycling. So you think uh, the Tour de France, that's a grand tour. There's actually three of them. There's one in Italy, then the Tour de France, and now the one in Spain, which is the third state, third one. And that's uh, currently going on right now in Spain. And I decided to kind of do a rough 
kind of straight line of the current route today. Um, so, you know, it's just about 70, you know, 72, oh, no, never mind, don't, don't ignore that. Yeah, it's about a 17 minute flight, so it's that short, but they're basically biking from here to here today, you know, and, you know, basically in about three and a half to five hours, I'm going to say, roughly, depending when the TV's, you know, depending, you know, that's my estimation when the TV, TV started like half, you know, like partially through the race. Hmm. Excuse me, but what was interesting was just seeing a lot of the mountains and churches and stuff. I don't know how well it's going to capture. They haven't really done a Spanish update, but it looked pretty enough. And I'm going to start basically. It should start us in the air, I believe. So let's see if that works. Um, yeah, but I think we can fly that. And I'm going to go through some of the updates in the inter interface stuff. I'm having some concerns or issues with that. I've been seeing some other people report as well. Again, I'm I'm not an influencer, so I don't expect. They don't listen to me to change it by any means, but uh, just show like some flaws, I think, because I think it's something. You know, one thing I give the whole Microsoft this uh, this developer team uh, credit for, they do listen to feedback, and they have made a lot of changes, like we see with this big update, and it's about and this update came roughly about a year out from the from the release, on top of the world updates they're doing. Uh, one big thing: loading ch uh, times have improved drastically. As you saw, that was very quick. You know, it used to be you'd be sitting there for like, well, it depends on the plane. Like the CRJ plane took a while. Yeah, sorry about that. I forgot to plug this in. Yeah, keep default. Oh, real quick. Yeah, they also changed this as well. Um, they have like stuff like activities in here now. Um, I, yeah, this is a, uh, this is a bunch of new. Obviously, got the landing challenges. Um, I don't know why it says zero percent. I did this a while ago, but they did a lot more discovery flights. I did one like um, Mount Fuji. Uh, what is you just kind of start in a plane, just fly around an area. That is Bora Bora. I've actually flown there before. Oh, sorry, flown there in this game. I haven't flown there in reality. Uh, that'd be really cool. But anyway, so it's kind of neat. They're kind of doing that. Help you discover different parts of the world and stuff. You know, outside just you know, your own curiosity. Uh, yeah, I forgot to let me go for this one more. Yeah, the bush trips and all that people have been doing that. So. Um, you know, I need to give that a try. I haven't tried that. I've always liked just doing my own thing. But, you know, I will say it's nice that they're really devoting a lot of time uh, doing these challenges and just bush trips and discovery flights. Just really um, just give you a lot of options on what to do in this game in terms of just exploring the world. Uh, anyway, let's get back into... So... So the first issue, which is already happening, this never... So this, you know, you have this. It used to be... That would disappear. This this little thing here should disappear. It doesn't anymore. That and apparently that's an issue that I others have experienced as well. Um, and it's kind of frustrating because, like, I just like because I show you why. I'm gonna go briefly into showcase. See, it's still there. Now maybe let me let's say we do this. Yeah. Because showcase, you're taking screenshots, you, and the whole point of the showcase camera is you get rid of the whole UI, and now it won't fully go away. As long as that's there, then the UI has stayed. But see, but then at times it doesn't want to disappear, but it's very inconsistent. Like it only seems like we in the in the menus, not like in the open world, and I don't get why. It's it's very frustrating. Um, so uh, anyway, let's get back to the cockpit. That's gonna be the next thing. Actually, no, let's do external. Uh, one thing I did see, now granted, I think because the plane wasn't updated, the CRJ had a really weird interface that's completely different from this. I don't know what happened there, um, but it might be better now that I've updated it. Um, so, but anyway, so this hasn't changed much at all, which I think it's good, or as it is. Uh, before, hold on, before I go back in the cockpit, just want to show you, this is kind of... So this we're just uh, we're kind of in central Spain right now, a little north uh, northeast of oh, I was gonna say Madrid. That's it. Sorry, Madrid. And when I've been kind of watching this race, um, it's kind of hilly but not mountainous. Like when I was watching the race yesterday, they actually had to finish. I say top of the mountain, but they had a huge climb towards the end, and it was like brutal. You just saw like you know like a kilometer was about two miles, and it was taking them like at least a good couple minutes to get through like one kilometer, and I'm like. You know, when these guys are on a flat area, bike about 20 to 30 miles an hour. So you can just really translate just how much they're struggling to get up that, that mountain. But here, I thought it was kind of cool, especially because I've been flying over a lot of, like, 
little valleys and churches and stuff um, during the aerial coverage. I don't know how much we'll see because they haven't really done like a major Spain update where they kind of like recreate a lot of these churches or old castles. But there's a lot of stuff they're showing like salt mines been there since like the Roman Empire and stuff. Um, actually, that kind of looks like some of the salt field, like salt areas they used to mine and stuff. Yeah, but anyway, they're talking about the salt. Like for example, they'll water it and then kind of put it on the sun to dry it and basically turn into salt that you know, could be consumed and stuff, and let the sun kind of like the heat evaporate and stuff. Pretty cool stuff, honestly. So I thought it might be kind of cool to do this. Definitely a more arid region. And it was always hard to tell when I was watching the race if maybe they had to dry and stuff. But looking at the style of imagery they've recreated, it's pretty brown. So I think it's just a very arid part of the uh, country, which. Um, well, wouldn't surprise me too much. It's definitely a drier um, country compared to, let's say, like France or especially the UK, where it's a lot, you know, wetter and more green. Anyway, the next thing I didn't want to go over in this update is in the cockpit. So there's good and bad. So the good. So now with the controller, I, and for the record, I use an Xbox controller. Um, it it does uh, this little cursor now to understand where you're looking. I, I'm not against it, but I did think it was maybe a little unnecessary. Um, main reason, I guess, is the thing they did this update. I'm guessing with along with the Xbox and like you know the console version. So this makes more sense on console because they don't have a keyboard and mouse. I do. See, I can do this. Now you can say maybe it's a little cheap or you know for the you know that you know maybe I guess you know they're trying to make it universal, which is fair. I just the, now the good news now this is dots been disappearing, but for a while it wasn't. Like, like until this fight, I'm joking you not. There was a bug I was having, and I don't know why this would never go away. Like I'll stop moving the camera and it was staying there. It was really frustrating, but I think now it's a little better. It looks like, um, but anyway, uh, it, as long as it does that, it's a lot better. For a while I was having issues where it wasn't. I read some other people were having the same issue as well. But I think also more so with the VR element, um, and that is made much like with the uh, controller. Now that's it. I do think if you hover over something, it doesn't go away. Okay, no. Let's see what happens to do this. Huh. Hmm. Okay, it's actually working better now. So I get that. So, but this is another big thing. Let's go over this, as I've been saying. And I'm glad they're actually showing like what the screens mean now, which I think is good. Now it says press. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Jerk the point, and scare everyone. If I yeah, so. Huh. Now I uh, there it goes. Yeah, I had a little bug that was moving the camera with the controller, but it wasn't recognizing that it was in here. Yeah, but see, they they added all this. Very well done, though. This is another good part of the update. That said, it's like I'm trying to see how. Yeah. Yeah. Good news. The uh, the little auto. It's like basically it's like um I was gonna say oh yeah so it's like it's not the deep I think it's the D pad it's basically the arrow buttons that still works really well. So, interiors look good. Um, yeah, so I guess they, it looks like, I don't know what it is, but it looks like the circle dot issue is finally, it was just getting on my nerves where it was like, just trying to enjoy the flight from the uh, cockpit, and the big dot was just right there in the middle constantly. And as you see, though, the bar disappeared again. See, it's just really weird. It, I don't understand when it wants to show up and disappear. I think it's probably something going to happen, because I know other people are having issues with that as well. But overall, it's been a very good update. Um, it definitely feels like it's running smoother now without losing, let's say, performance in terms of, like, the scenery or what it's trying to capture. So, but anyway, yeah, let's see some more pictures of central Spain here. Very beautiful, by the way. Try to get a sense where we are. Yeah, I turned off sound, or sorry, I turned off um, voices and stuff. You know, a little halfway there. 
Let's see. Yeah. No we need to worry about that. Uh, they also changed the way these menus look a little bit. So, like, see this one? This, this, they didn't have this here before. I think it's very useful. Now it gives you a sense of maybe some airports in the region. Um, you know, this air is still the same. I don't remember the recommended speeds before, but that is a very nice touch. Um, if it wasn't there before, that's the same. You know, this is the same. You kind of tell it's a little different, just the way it's kind of laid out almost, in a way, I feel like, when they've done the changes. Uh, you got the checklist. No need to worry about that. You know, this has been very useful. Um, they just changed the controls a little bit. Um, yeah, I can pause it with that, but for some reason I can't unpause it that button, so it's really weird. So I did that, but see, I'm pressing the same button. You just have to take my word. It won't, like, unpause. And this even shows it here. It's like the only way to do is hit escape. That's a weird thing. I don't know why it used to work. I don't know why they changed it. Uh... I get maybe they repurposed this button for something, but they didn't. It does nothing. You know, I mean, here's the load, save, restart. You know, they, they made the controllers here, but it's like here they forgot to change this, it seems like. Or at least to recognize that input. Um, so that's like a little bug there. Not a big concern, but kind of annoying uh, nonetheless. Yeah, so there's one of the towns here. They've been going through several towns in this race as I've been watching it. So, that might be one of the towns they actually went to. Like, the bike race, I mean. But, say, I do like having the mouse, because then I can do that, scroll in and out. But, yeah, you see, I keep, like, you know, messing with stuff. I haven't really seen a drop in performance. I mean, there's might have been a little slight drop in frame rates at times. Uh, we do got live weather. It is sunny there, but let's, uh, let's just mess with this a little bit. So yeah, a little gap there, but not too bad. Sorry by gap, I mean like a drop, I should say. A little drop in frames, but not too bad. Now let's try rain. Okay. It dropped, but... Not too bad. You know, let's get back to live, and then we go back to live. Yeah. As I said, not, not surprising there's a drop or like a change there. But overall, really, it's it's handled a lot better now, and it's very impressive. I know some people watch, if anyone's watched some of my previous videos, sometimes they had like a frame drop or a frame rate drop, or sometimes you had like a slight pause. Like it's, it's like almost like too much, like a memory overload. Like I was trying to figure out to get everything back up to speed for the, um, you know, for the presentation, basically. And obviously, yeah, yeah, custom two bar. So map again so but yeah anyway yeah this is kind of more of the hillier part of the route today i've been seeing on the uh, pit images when they do the overview or sorry overhead shots you know they do like a lot of they have helicopters basically and drones i follow these racers all day uh during their during their race day so it's kind of cool when they do a lot of these big hero shots with churches and mountains and stuff it's really gorgeous honestly you know when you watch these races kind of makes you want to go see these you know regions especially as they go to like remote parts you know, it isn't just, like, city. You know, they go through a lot of countryside, small towns and stuff. And it's just really cool, especially when they go through, like, a, a city portion where there's usually, like, a lot of, um, you know, like, a lot of fans there, like, you know, banging on the, uh... Oh, it's kind of weird. It's like it's like those metal gates you see, you know, at events. But they put, like, um, like logos and stuff over, and people are, like, banging on them, you know, kind of like a big drum set. It's kind of cool, honestly. So, but anyway, I'm probably going to wrap this video up soon. I, I didn't want to, uh, yeah, I, I didn't have too much to say. It's more about the update. It looks like one issue at least has gone away from me was this. Actually, let, let's try it now. Let's see if it's going. Okay, so it is going away. It wasn't doing that for me the, yesterday or the last couple times I was using this. It was really frustrating. Hopefully, it stays that way. Um, I did do a bunch more updates with the world and stuff, so maybe it's something tied to the world update. Again, really hard to say. Um, or maybe it's because it was in the Airbus A320. There's a lot more equipment there. So maybe just the way it was viewing and looking at it, maybe it was constantly hitting like an instrument when it shouldn't. Again, I'm just speculating. It's working a lot better in this plane here than it did in that plane. Sorry, in the Airbus A320. Um, the CRJ wasn't updated, so I, messed with, I need to mess with that later on. 
Uh, but overall, yeah, it seems to be a lot better. Um, yeah, otherwise, the only complaint is this just seems so random when it wants to go away. Um, hopefully that kind of, when you do like a small patch and stuff, that gets fixed. Yeah, because, you know, otherwise it's going to make uh, taking screenshots a little harder because I don't want that in there. I don't want that in there when I do the screenshots and showcase. I really don't. Uh, speed up. I can tell I'm a little lower than I want to be. Um, again, I'm still playing on medium. Uh, you know, I'll mess with this at times. I don't want to press my luck with the game. It, you know, it's a lot that goes on in any given moment. But it still looks really good on medium, in my view. Uh, obviously, though, can't compete. If you can get like, if you can pull off ultra without losing so much performance, I mean, you just then you yeah, you can't beat that. That's just it's 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 breathtaking, honestly. Yeah, I'm going through a wooden little forest here now. You can even tell, like, I, I don't know what it is, but it seems like they even made the forest a little brown and, like, indicates a more arid area, which I think is really cool. So. Alright. Eh, I think I'll just wrap it up here in a few minutes. It's kind of enjoying seeing the windmills here. Hope those windmills are actually there. They haven't really shown anything during the coverage, but again, they may not be driving drive riding by the one nose either if they really are there anyway i'm gonna wrap it up here soon uh but yeah i hope you kind of enjoy a little update you know I, I just try to do videos when i can i did feel like maybe talking a little bit about this update overall very good you know just a couple issues you know like with the the bar kind of disappearing at random i wish it was a little consistent right now it's not um the dot thing seems to be working a lot better today which i'm really glad uh, but then at times, like, now it doesn't show up, but it, it knows I'm moving the camera. So, I think it's just more little stuff. Just need to fix those little issues where they're just not... They're not doing what they're supposed to at times, or it's not responding in a reasonable time. Really unsure what the, the exact cause is, but definitely needs a little work on, it feels like. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, the new maps are great. Um, I like the new menu layouts. The loading screens are better now. They kind of cleaned it up a bit you know it used to be like a big box on the bottom now i think it's like a little bar might have a little tip and stuff um so it's just kind of show and they and they're a little more diversifying the images too with the showing in the loading screen so i think that's kind of nice just to see different parts you know it shows like a part with like um wildlife like elephants and stuff so i'm assuming it's like probably out like in africa or a jungle or that that region i'm guessing or maybe like out in india or something and it's really cool so, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, you have a good one.